Hey there, fellow maker, Bill here. Welcome down to the shop. Halloween season is upon us, and if you're like me, you are scrambling to get a costume done in time for your Halloween parties. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Today, we've got five costumes that you can put together tomorrow, and we're gonna show you how. Starting with, this is a quick and dirty Punisher costume. The first step is a trip to Amazon to order some tactical pants and a tactical vest. Next, time to paint. Got my skull reference, I've got some fabric paint, and I also have a white marker to get started. And I'm just gonna quickly trace out the skull before filling it in with paint. Got my fabric paint ready to go. I've got everything kind of laid out over here, so now all I have to do is kind of fill in all the spots that ought to be white. And it's okay if this looks splotchy because it's supposed to look like he did this himself. Using one of these, I guess you'd call it like a stippling type brush here to get a nice kind of even coverage. There's like four different teeth things coming down here, so I've got this smaller stippling brush to go in and be a little more surgical with the placement. We decided these buckles are unnecessary and they just kind of get in the way, so we're gonna take them off. There it goes. That's it, that's all the painting. I spent like 10 minutes doing it, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna try and dry the paint really fast with my hair dryer, and that's it. I decided one more step, I've got a scouring pad, I'm just gonna kinda scuff everything a little bit so it's not just pure white. So this looks a little more world worn that way. There's our vest all ready to go. Now I just need a model to wear it. Hey, it's Everett. Now it's time to put it on him. Hey, look at that, it's the Punisher. And that took literally 10 minutes. Another great costume would be a wizard, your very own custom wizard from the Harry Potter universe. All I need is a wizard. Let's see if my friend April's available. I just picked up a wand at the thrift store. Let's give it a go. Ready? Akio, April! Hey, April. Hi. You weren't busy, were you? No. All right, let's make you a costume. Okay. We're ready to go, we got this sweet jacket at the thrift store. I just wanna make it look a little bit more world worn. Got an airbrush, I'll show April how to add a little bit of an accent to this. I've got brown acrylic paint in here and all we're gonna do is use it to start adding some shading to our costume. So I'm just adding a little bit of dark to spots so that there's a little bit of a shadow around it. So that this whole thing isn't just one flat color, there's a little bit of dimension there. Here we have before, and here we have after. That's cool. Just gives it a little bit more oomph. Another thing you can do is just to trace the seam. So I've turned it down a little bit. And just anywhere there's a seam on the costume, just... Just trace the seams with a little bit of brown paint. And it just adds a little bit more. That's all you need, you don't have to do more than that. You got that, April? Yeah. All right, you're on it. Sweet. There are a couple of things we can do to make our wand a little more magical. I'd love to put a light on here. So I went and wired up this LED. It's just a normal LED from a cheap flashlight. But first I need a way to get the battery through there. So on the tail end, I'm gonna cut most of the way through this. Now I haven't cut all the way through it. I'm gonna leave a little bit there so that we can close it up easily later. There we go. With a hole in the tip of our wand, we can feed the wires right through, and hopefully they'll snake their way down to the handle. Beep. Now I can solder the battery back on here, and it's good to go. I'm not even gonna put a switch on it, just take the battery out when you're not using it. I've got a strip of leather here and we put contact cement on the leather and the handle and we can just wrap it on and give ourselves a much more authentic looking wrap.
Next, we're going to do a quick pass of weathering, just some black acrylic paint here, a little bit of water, and we're just going to make this thing look a little bit more contrasty and, and grimy. The wand's all done, April. There you go. Oh, sweet. I can finally cut my hair. Yeah. Look at that. I just need a couple more things. Hakio boots. Huh. Socks. Scarf. Belt. Ah, I like this thing. Hakio shirt. Hakio skirt. A fantastic costume you could throw together would be a Tony Stark costume, not an Iron Man costume, Tony Stark. And it all starts with one of these really cheap lights from the hardware store. I'm gonna alter this into an arc reactor. These things crack right open, and this is the battery holder. You could totally repurpose this, but I found a normal three AA battery holder with an on-off switch, so I'm gonna use that. For the light part, we don't need all of this stuff, so I can take that right apart. All we need are the lights right here, so we can trim the leads with the dullest pair of trimmers ever. That's what we want. This will be on my chest, and it's a little thick, so I'm gonna sand the LEDs a little bit down. That should be just a little bit more comfortable under my shirt. To power my arc reactor, I'm gonna use this battery like I said before, but this will go in my pocket and the arc reactor is gonna be on my chest. So to connect the two, I'll need a length of a couple of wires. I have this ridiculously thin wire that I'm gonna use here. Any wire would work, but this thin stuff is great because you won't see it under the shirt. Let's get it all wired up. For the arc reactor shape, I actually drew up this vector in Inkscape. There will be a link to download this over on our website. I just printed this out on a cardstock, and you can see if I put it over, we got a nice looking arc reactor. I need to attach that, but I also want to close the outer perimeter, and I'm just going to use black duct tape. And this will go over it, about like that, and I'll just hot glue this down. This is hook and loop, also known as Velcro. I got this in bulk in a big sheet and I just cut out a circle so that I can hot glue that to the back of my arc reactor. So I've got this installed, now I need the other side on my undershirt. Once it's centered, I'm gonna trace it with a marker. And now this can be stitched to the shirt. That's stitched on there, I can affix my arc reactor. And then I'm gonna put another shirt over it. Arc reactor installed, time to fire it up. <laughs> my arc reactor looks great. Now I just need a couple more things to finish up my costume. Hmm, all right, Jarvis, trim my beard. Uh, uh, uh. Ha ha, I'm Tony Stark, super casual Tony Stark. You could go a whole bunch of different ways with this costume. You could do a suit. You could get that sweet black Sabbath shirt. Actually found one on Amazon. I couldn't get it in time, but I'll have it linked down below if you want to grab it. Also, I think I need, I think I need a prop, some sort of gimmick, maybe something from Infinity War. A 
Another fantastic costume idea is a Wastelander costume. You could go for just generic Wastelander or modify it to look like it came from Fallout, Mad Max, or even The Walking Dead. But I wonder, do I know anyone that could use a Wastelander costume? Hmm. Hey, it's Paige! We've got a whole bunch of stuff from the thrift store mostly, and I believe the weapon is from the Halloween store because it is October. We're gonna basically put a bunch of this on page and then modify it so it looks a little more wastelandy and weather it. Uh, we'll do a little bit of paint touch up work on the weapon and this mask, which I think is gonna make a lovely pauldron. The first step we're gonna do is just sandpaper this is a really low grit sandpaper, and we're gonna start scuffing up the clothing, mostly the jacket and the pants. Knees are really good, elbows are gonna be all torn up, uh, the edges of seams, like right here. And we're just trying to make it look like it's been surviving in the wasteland for decades. I've also got this wire brush that does a really great job of tearing and pulling at stuff. So just after a tiny bit of sanding, you can already see this side is way more roughed up and textured than this side, just is way more smooth and less worn looking. You can see in all the seams, it's all fuzzy. After that, we want our clothing to look dusty and dirty. So I've got some Fuller's Earth here. This is just a clay that's been dried out, so it's a nice dusty consistency. We're gonna put on some dust masks so we're not breathing all this in while we work. So we're just gonna pick up a little bit of dust with our brushes and just kinda dust up our clothing kind of focusing on the seams here where the dust might collect. This is a lighter color, uh, might maybe like our wastelander lives in the desert. While we're working on that, I'd like to take a moment to thank our incredible patrons for your support. It's because of you that we get to work in this gigantic shop and build such fun projects and costumes and props as we do. If you'd like to join in on the fun and get access to behind the scenes vlogs, extra credit videos, and early releases on all of our build videos, you can head on over to patreon.com slash punish props, throw us a dollar and join in on the fun. Thank you again, let's get back to the build. Now that we got the clothing mostly sorted, we're gonna make a pauldron out of this mask. It's already black, which is awesome. All we have to do is grab a little bit of silver acrylic paint and a chip brush, and we're gonna do some pretty heavy dry brushing on this to make it look like metal. There is the mask slash pauldron all metallic up. Now I've got some raw sienna and a lot of water, and I'm just gonna add a rust wash and I'm just focusing on mostly the crevices and around these bolts or rivet heads. And I'm just laying down a really watered down acrylic wash on this. There we go. Now I'll grab a paper towel and wipe most of that away. Our mask looks much better now. To attach it to our jacket, we're gonna attach it first to this strap. Now we will attach the belt to the mask using rivets. I've plotted out where some rivets are gonna go on this belt, and then we will mark where we're gonna punch holes in the leather jacket, and we'll rivet those together. To cover up these rivets, we've just got some nuts and bolts that we had previously resin cast. I'm just gonna hot glue them right down. This is our weapon, and believe it or not, we bought it just like this from the Halloween store. It already looks really good, but we think if we just do like a dark acrylic wash on it, maybe a little bit of dry brushing, we can really make it pop. So we're gonna start with some black acrylic paint, a lot of water, and we're just gonna dirty it up. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like afterwards, just a little bit darker. We can do a couple of passes until we're happy with it. 
I'm just covering up the really poor silver paint job with black and then we'll do our own. A little bit of a dry brush that is hopefully nicer looking than the one from the factory. Our weapon's all done. Now all we have to do is add some straps and bandoliers to the costume and our Wastelander outfit will be all done. Finally, one last quick costume to round up our batch of Halloween goodies. All you need for this one, a pair of jeans, a black t-shirt, a pair of nerd black glasses, and a fedora. After a tiny bit of grooming on my facial hair and a very important sign, I can become Adam Savage, Mythbuster extraordinaire. There you go, five great costume ideas for Halloween that you could knock out tomorrow. Of course, you could take those ideas and apply them to whatever costume you'd like to do, whether that's modifying something from a thrift store or putting together some stuff from the Halloween store and just updating the paint job so it looks a little bit better, or adding a little bit of electronics to spruce up your costume. Of course, there are tons of other quick Halloween costume ideas. If you have a good idea, please leave it in the comments down below to share with everyone else. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We do prop and costume making videos every single week. And if you're into that, then you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button. Thank you again to our lovely patrons over on patreon.com slash punished props. If you'd like to help us out and earn yourself some exclusive behind the scenes vlogs, extra credit videos, and early releases on all of our videos, head on over there right now and consider throwing us a dollar. Thank you so much for the support. That's everything I have for you today. Happy Halloween, go out and have a great time, and I'll see you in the next build.